Hi guys, today we're gonna do a haul video and we're gonna do it in my craft room in the comfort of my pajamas. I got my hair cut last night. So there you go, that's why it's short. <laughs> All right, let's get started. I found this to be a thumbs up haul. I was happy with the purchases and I'm going to tell you I got everything for $31. Hmm. All right. So I started with this little cutting board, which was $1.99 and it was on sale 50% off. So I got it for a dollar and I definitely will either paint. I probably won't paint. I'll probably stain it so you can still see the, the different colors of wood and then I'll stencil something on it and it'll be a decor piece. So I thought that was, that was good. All right, this. Our last name starts with an M. So I thought this was a good find. Um, I have a giant one um, in the dining room, but I thought for $1.99, I mean, originally this looks like They blacked it out. Huh. It's weird. It says originally $5.99, but that was crossed out and marked $8. So anyway, I got this for $1.99. Because blue was not on sale yesterday. So that goes over here. Um I picked this up to put in the booth. I like this coppery color. Um, this was 99 cents. It was not on sale, but for 99 cents, even if I sell this for just, you know, four or five dollars, that works. All right, let's go ahead and look at this. This is pretty unique and it was not on sale. But look at Santa and then all the reindeer and it, obviously it's modern, but um, it's got the crackle on it. This was $2.99. It was not on sale, but for $2.99 and I don't. I don't see anything wrong with it. Everybody's got their antlers. They've got all their legs. Santa's got his arm. I mean, it looks really good. So to, I couldn't figure out why this was only $2.99 because to me, this, this is nice. I like it. And I am going to paint it white and distress the color back. So I wanted to get this haul video done so that I can go ahead and get stuff altered that needs to be altered. But I did buy things that don't. And I want to get those priced and ready because we're going to take those bar stools, uh, those little stools that I did, um, the Buffalo Check stools, and we're going to take them down to the mall. So whatever I can take, I want to go ahead and get priced and ready to go. All right. So, if you guys know me, I do have a collection of decanters out in my studio, and this was a steal, because this was marked $4.99, and it was 50% off. I'm not sure about this odd etching, but it's unique. It's different, and it's got a nice, heavy you know, original stopper to it, $4.99, so that was $2.50. That'll go out in the studio for now. Eventually, when I get a really nice collection, I'll probably put it in the, in the mall. So, $2.99 for the rolling pin. I'll paint these, and I was thinking about the possibility, I don't know, Nope, that won't work. I was in a stencil Merry Christmas. But.
but I'll probably leave it um, like it is and just paint the handles and then uh, do a bunch of block oil on the the rolling part because that rolling pin's in really good shape. All right. Here's another decanter that I found to be really well priced. Usually one this heavy is $12.99 at the thrift store. Um, and they're usually not on sale because people grab them up. This one was $7.99, so I got this for $4, and it is really heavy. Look how pretty that is. I think if, and look at this, this itself is really, really nice. So I think if I was to put this in the antique mall, one like this, I'd probably mark about $15. So I paid four. That's a pretty good markup. This one, I paid $2.50. I'd probably put this one at 10 And this is the size difference. But... I don't know why I'm so attracted to those. I thought this was super cute. And I thought because it's white, I don't know, it looked rather farmhousey to me. Um, or like it could be mixed into farmhouse decor. And I thought it was really cute, like for a coffee bar area. Um, obviously, it's a candle holder. Um, anyway, this was $1.99, so I got this for a dollar, and I'll probably put this in the booth for five dollars. Okay, this, I just, I just love this. I'm going to take the price off of it because you won't be able to see it as well. Look at him. Oh my gosh, would he not be cute on a coffee bar? So cute with like little um, candy canes or something in there. Oh my gosh, or little, um, those little cookie straws. Oh my gosh, so cute. So he was $1.99 and he was not on sale. But I would still mark something like this, $5. So, so cute. Um, I picked up a basket. This looks like a really nice quality basket. And I'm pretty selective about the baskets that I put in the booth. But baskets sell well. Um, this one was $2.99 and that, you know, it was on sale. So it was $1.50. So I'll probably ask um, 6 50 on this basket. Okay. I got this little, I really kind of debated on this. I don't know why. Let me see. <laughs> so I got this little birdhouse and I kind of debated, but again, this is the kind of item that would be cute on a coffee bar or in just a little uh, Christmas display. And it's got this like kind of Christmassy looking thing on it. So, and it's glittered. Somebody, somebody glittered it. And then somebody probably had it in their craft fair marked $4.95 because this is like a craft fair tag. Um, it was in the thrift store. It was marked $1.99, so 50% uh, off. I got this for a dollar, and I'll probably put this in the booth. I'll have to clean off this little red mark. How, how does that even happen? Um, I'll probably put this in the booth for like $3. It was just too cute to leave it behind, you know? Okay. This, to me, was the creme de la creme. I should have saved it for last. But I love this. I would even keep this, but I'm not going to. Um, this was $7.99. I would not have paid $7.99 for it uh, because the resale value at $7.99, I mean, 
I'll probably mark this uh, $15, but I did get it for uh, $4. And it is good to go. There are no chippies on him. Okay, I lied. There's that little, and it's not, it's, it's not like a piece is missing. It's just kind of like a, a small little chip. I'll probably even hit that with a marker. But I think he's adorable. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, this was not on sale. This is a Cookies for Santa plate, and I think this is a very farmhousey style of Santa and tree. Um, it's kind of primitive looking, and I thought this would be nice in the booth. What's funny is this is the direction, obviously, that the plate goes, but look at the mark on the back. It's this way. Uh, so anyway, this was $1.99. It was not on sale. I'll put it in the booth for $5. this. I normally wouldn't have picked this up. I'm not a penguin person, but I have a good friend who is the penguin person, and I kind of thought about packaging this up and sending it to her in Hawaii. This was marked $3.99. I checked it over several times in the store and didn't see anything wrong with it. So I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to send this to Hawaii or whether this will go in the booth. Um, so it was Mark 3.99, 50% off. I got it for two dollars, and it's uber cute. Um, if I was to put this in the booth, I'd probably mark this eight dollars. I'm a sucker for mugs. I don't think I would want to drink out of a mug like this. I don't know. I'm weird about those shapes inside the mug. I want the inside of my mug to be smooth. Um, but I thought this was really cute for a coffee bar. And some people don't mind drinking out of a weird shaped mug on the inside. I don't know why I'm weird about that. But... Um, I thought it was really cute and would be really nice on a coffee bar with candy canes or cookie straws in there. So this was $1.99, so I got it for a dollar. I'll put it in the booth for five. Ha ha, I forgot I picked this up. I showed it in the haul video and I was like, I want that. I don't know why. I'm very attracted to clear glass. Um, this was marked $2.99, which I thought was a little bit pricey for this. Um, but it was on sale, so I got it for $1.50. I'll put, in it, put it in the booth for probably 4 But isn't it cute? It would be nice for syrup, honey, even cream, you know. But really, it's so cute. There must be some kind of disorder where people are attracted to clear glass. Somebody tell me if you know. All right. This guy. This guy looked very farmhouse to me. Definitely coffee bar type. I mean, I don't know if everybody has a coffee bar. But to me, this is like a coffee bar type of thing and obviously you put your candle inside your little votive candle and he lights up he's even got that um this was marked $2.99 there's no mark on the bottom I don't know who made this but it it's so um almost in a way primitive looking and there's nothing wrong with it i didn't find any chips or cracks or anything 
So I did pay $3 for this guy. I'd probably mark him at eight in the booth. I think this is our last item. This to me, again, is a very farmhouse slash primitive type of um, Santa Claus. He was marked 99 cents, and I think he's super cute. Um, I did not find any damage when I was looking at him um, in, the, in the store, but one of these two, I did find something on at the checkout. This has a... It's not, it's not a damage. It's, um, it's defective. It's, it's in the, the glazing. But anyway, it was 99 cents. I got it for 50 cents. Um, I will put this in the booth, um, for $5. Maybe it was this guy. Yes. It was this guy. There's that little, little chip on the back. But he was a dollar. I was like, you know. Okay, so my total you can see right there is 31 something. So I think that's a pretty good haul for $31. $31.95, so almost $32. Um, it was, you know, half off senior day. So, um, you know, I got myself two beautiful decanters, and the rest of the stuff, other than the penguin, is going to the booth. So, most of it, I can go ahead and start pricing it and getting it ready to head on out. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, I am going to paint this up, and we'll probably do a video on that so we can see how it comes out. And I've got a couple of other projects. I'm down to only needing three videos to fulfill my 30 videos in 30 days promise. I am sorry that some of them, when I have to put them together, have been like kind of weird and uh, freezing. I don't know what to do. I use uh, Filmora Go on my phone and uh, maybe I need to delete it and re-upload it. I don't know. I'm not super savvy with that. I wish I could just switch to a different one, but that one is Raina user friendly. <laughs> so, um, anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye.